Hi, this is Bill with Dine Drink Vegas. It is August of 2022, and I'm inside the Four Queens Hotel on Fremont Street in downtown Las Vegas, outside the Chicago Brewing Company. I've just had a fantastic cigar and a drink, and I want to show you this place. Now, in addition to being a bar and a cigar bar, this place is also a restaurant, being Chicago style. They've got all sorts of pans in the back to make deep dish Chicago pizzas. And there are, you can see into the kitchen there, see the man doing some of his work. You can see back in to some of the deep dishes. They do really good work, and there are two sides to this. One is a family friendly side where no smoking is allowed but all of the sports ball is on TV. Again, it's August, so most of the time what they've been showing today is baseball. There are a couple of soccer games. You've got some kids. You can have a nice pizza, have a good time. However, over on this side is the 21 and up side. And there's not a huge selection of cigars, but there's stuff that I like very much. I only paid, I think, $22 for my Monte Cristo. I'll cut them for you. they got plenty of matches. Let me show you a picture of the menu and what they got to have here. One of the other things that they do at this place is they brew their own beer. Now, I'm more of a whiskey guy than a beer guy, but most of my buddies are beer guys, and that would have been amazing. I will show you some of those options in just a minute. So, it is a little less busy than it might be because it's August, and not a lot of people come to Vegas in August because it's hot, right? It's also a Wednesday night, so it's not a really peak time. But I sat over here in the corner. I just watched a baseball game for a little while. I had a great cigar. The gentleman at the bar made me a fantastic old-fashioned. They've got a good selection of whiskeys. But again, probably the specialty point of this restaurant is the beers. They make several of their own beers in-house, and I wish I would have had the chance to try some of those. So what I'm gonna do in just a second is come back and show you some more still pictures and talk to you about this place. But if you're here with a group of guys, it is great. Um, if you wanted to sit down with your friends, it wouldn't be a bad place to have dinner with your family. The other thing that it's good for is Hugo's Cellar is just a few steps away. That's actually where I'm having dinner in a little while, and I'll obviously do a separate video of it. But if you want a place to have a pre-dinner cocktail or cigar, a post-dinner cocktail and cigar before you go to Hugo's, this place would be amazing. So I will come back in just a couple of minutes and show you some of the still pictures of the, the things that I enjoyed here. As I start to work through some of these still photos, let me take a minute to say I would really appreciate your support for the channel just by hitting like and subscribe. What we try to do here at Nine Drink Vegas is bring you short and focused videos and answer your questions about what Vegas is like, and that would help the channel out a lot. We'd also love to read your comments in the comments section below. Where do you like to go for a drink or cigar? As well as answer any of your questions there in the comments section. So when you walk in to the Chicago Brewing Company, one of the first things you'll see right off to your right is the cigar case. And I've got a picture of a few of them here. They're not expensive cigars. Now they're not dirt cheap, but it's a nice cigar bar in Vegas, right? Dirt cheap's not what you're going for. My Monte Cristo was 22 bucks. They had several other choices in the 20s, so there's not a huge selection, but the cigars that they had were really nice cigars. Um, they'll cut them however you want right there, and they were all at a really reasonable price. The seating areas are great and comfortable. I'm assuming that on the weekends, this place gets pretty crowded. Like I said, I was there on a Wednesday night in August. It wasn't crowded at all, but if you're gonna go with a group, you may wanna send somebody ahead, you know, make sure you've got some space, or call ahead, see if you can get some reservations because you don't want to be fighting for space, and they do have some great places to sit and watch whatever game is on. Um, in terms of the drinks, like I said, I had a whiskey drink. I had an Old Fashioned. It was very, very good. He did it as I would have wanted it. Um, maybe a little bit sweeter than I prefer, but still was fine. One of the things I would encourage you to try, like I said in the walking video, Try some of their beers. That's just not what I care for this evening. And I tend to drink whiskey when I'm smoking a cigar, but they brew their own beers. And I think that's where the real value probably is at this place and be a really nice part of the experience. So again, I was here right before I went to um, a meal at Hugo's Cellar, which is just a few steps down the casino floor. It's a nice place for a drink and a cigar. It's great right before or after Hugo's Cellar, or if you want to go on your own. I hope this video has been helpful to you. Again, we would really appreciate it if you hit like and subscribe. But thanks so much for watching and happy travels.